Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning into Homeworthy today. I'm very excited to be chatting with Suzanne and Stevie Hendricks, who are YouTube stars, podcasters, and they're renovating a beautiful home in Texas, which we're gonna get a sneak peek of. So enjoy, and if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. What's up, everybody? I'm Suzanne. And I'm Stevie. Welcome to the Hendricks household in Austin, Texas. Come on in. Come on in! Come on, sweetie. But wait, before we go in, Let's take a look at what their house looked like just a short time ago. All right, Teeny, you excited? Oh, our house, we made it. This is Teeny. our new house. Do you love it? it? It came as is, so we didn't have to do anything to the windows. But what if I told you right here in this spot, it was a fireplace in the dead center of this room. And I remember thinking, whoa, it's separating the kitchen from the living room, but I kind of want to like see it all open. How's it coming? Oh, it's going good. Woo! Looks like the plan's gonna work. We put the beams that center the fireplace on this wall. We kept the window here and we made a little bench over there. And then we put in a ventless fireplace. It's a gas ventless fireplace, so it actually has gas fire, but it's not a wood fire, so there's no smoke going through. You are renovating a house. Um, walk me through what the process has been like for you guys. The house that we bought uh, was built in 2001, and the people who owned this house uh, have another house in Northern California, and so the house, although it was built and built really, really well, it kind of just sat, you know, since 2001 because it was a second house. And so there was a lot of updating that needed to happen when we got into the house. Um, but there were so many beautiful features that were already here, like just windows upon windows. And Saz and I, when we walked in, that was our number one thing. When we saw the windows, we looked at each other like, oh my God, this house is incredible. So what? But there was a giant, oh yeah. It, the whole thing is just like, like natural lighting. It's perfect for content creation, right? So we were like, that's number one. But then there was bamboo floors. There was a giant fireplace in the middle. Um, there was no good built-ins really. And so we really started looking around being like, okay, the bones are here. We can make this place really, really sing once we start getting into, you know, just renovating and bringing the projects in. Yeah, and I think for us during that season of our life, you know, we had sold our house in LA, which was really cozy, but we never ever did anything to that house in LA. We knew it was sort of that in-between home for us while we were figuring out like, where will we end up? And so when we landed in this home, it just happened to check off all these boxes. We literally wrote a list of things we needed in our home because we work from home. And it just hit all those boxes. It wasn't like cosmetically perfect for us in terms of our aesthetic and what we personally love, but we knew that it would be a fun project to take on. And it wasn't like we had to gut and do like a huge demolition, um, but we really brought our vision to life. And through that, I think we discovered we really have a passion for this. And this home is now really our cozy nook where we can work and we can like really build our lives together. And in terms of the vision that you had for the house, do you both share that sort of the same vision? Daz and I are so lucky because there's so many people that fight over this, right? They have just completely different <laughs> style or they just cannot compromise. We are so lucky because we work together. We have figured out how to compromise. But when it comes to home design and everything, we have this same feel, the same vibe. And I think that this was kind of developed as we were looking for a house for a year. People were like, did you design this yourself? We're like, we did it all ourselves. And they're like, well, how did you do it? I'm like, that's what happens when you spend a year on Pinterest. You pin everything. By the time you get in the house, you're like, we're ready to go. And we have the same, we have the same exact vibe the same exact feel that we love. And so it's been very easy for us when we do have certain like things that we want to compromise on. A lot of the times it's like her with the the little things that are on the shelves and stuff. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And for me, I'm like, babe, I want to put beans on the ceiling. She's like, go for it. Yeah, he's big picture and I'm in the details. So it's I almost like it. we share the same vision 
but we balance each other out because with those big yeah. things, I can't, I can't deal with that. He's well, doing the. What else is nice too is when we moved here, my family is in the construction business. They have a local company called Soleil Floors. They are incredible. They've done all the work. My dad's been a builder for the last 35 years. And so I grew up being around projects like that in my own home and going to work at customers' houses. And so it really has just felt like, it's like a this family like old project. like yeah love project and so we are just we're just so loving developing every room and so now we're doing our master bathroom next sure. okay quickly walk me through what are some of the things you did you tackled living room kitchen master bedroom what am i missing right now our big project that we have coming up that i think will literally be the cherry on top of this house is we are going to completely redevelop the master and the master closet because that was the biggest design flaw in the house was the size of each of those. And we're just gonna expand them out to where they're both gonna be almost double the size now. What has been your favorite part of this renovation and the most stressful part of the renovation? Um, well, I'm going to say that my least favorite part of the renovation process has just been, you know, having a young toddler, you know, when she hears the drilling and I walk in and there's dust everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, how much longer? You know, it's hard for me sometimes to see the vision immediately. So I've had to learn patience in this process and to try to keep our, our life as routine as we can in the midst of still living in the home while things are being rebuilt and torn down. But my favorite process has really been when it comes to life. like. Being able to see us pour, you know, just our passion for just that, this cozy feeling that we really were trying to bring out into this home so that when we do invite guests over, they feel like our home is this place of rest for them to come. I do feel like the things that we've done in this house really achieve that, achieve that goal yeah. that we had to just make people feel like this is also their home. And so we've created that experience for people to come to where they don't want to get off the couch and they don't want to leave. And we actually, we love that. We love leaving our door open for friends and family to come. And I feel like our home now really just feels like that cozy sanctuary for people. Best. And little by little, it sounds like you've been decorating. I saw a recent video where you had a big antique haul. Are you two flea market scavengers? Uh, yes. That's, that is, that's yeah. like our, I mean, I think there's so many guys right now who are rolling their eyes. But that is, <laughs> They're like Stevie. Though. I think I might like it more than her. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like I just, I think, so there's a place called Round Top in Texas and a lot of big designers go there and there's these two huge shows they have over uh, the course of a year and we actually just went to the one the spring show but there is just a whole town dedicated to antiquing and it's people from all around the world dealers from everywhere you're getting stuff from like france from like the 1800s and walking in and seeing that stuff at a way more affordable price than you see online, way more affordable where it's like something that you would see that's $5,000 is $1,000. It's so yeah. different. And walking in and just seeing things that instantly like speak to you, it's our favorite thing because there's a story, there's like this where, there's this, I think the biggest thing that Saz and I are addicted to when it comes to home and design is finding charm and finding Mixing story. Mm -hmm. And so when we're able to, yeah, mix these new updates in our home with old pieces, it's just- It's like the perfect thing. That's our vibe, right? Yeah. It's like old meets new. And when we go on those antique field trips and sometimes we bring the girls with us, it's just this fun little adventure. It's a newfound hobby for us to be able to get inspired mm -hmm. and to see things from the 18th century from France. It makes you feel like you're living during that time. And I just love I personally love going into an antique store and just seeing a ton of stuff. And again, me being the details person, kind of looking through all this junk and finding these hidden gem yeah. pieces. And it makes you feel like you're, you won the lottery and you just get, and you get addicted to it. It's just really fun. And I encourage anyone who hasn't done it to look in your local area. You'd be surprised what you find. Guys, thank you so much for sharing the story on how you came across your beautiful home and talking about your renovation. And this has just been a real treat. So thank you very much. Thank you so thank much. You. We had a good time. Thanks.